I wouldn't expect to see a large push from inside this administration. It would raise an enormous amount of controversy. Now that the senator admits Congress has looked into this issue, what about government organizations that deal specifically with weather? While attending a severe weather seminar put together by a Chicago television station, the director of the National Weather Service admits weather modification research has taken place, but denies present-day operation. This is a rare opportunity to ask the director of the National Weather Service some questions. Uh, Louis had agreed to come if uh, we allowed uh, some questions. Do you have questions for Louis? And if so, please stand up and Louis, you can recognize was, uh, hand way up in the back. Yes, uh, I had a question uh, with the the high resolution satellite image you're able to uh, to look at at the National Weather Service. Is there any way you could detect whether a uh, weather modification experiment is taking place or cloud seeding? I know in Kansas and Northern California that takes place, and as well as Idaho. Is there any way you could uh, see that in the satellite? And is there a way to communicate that to the public, or do meteorologists have a duty to tell the public about weather modification? Yeah. Uh, so I'm not aware of any cloud seeding that was going on for this. I can tell you that that in um, in the 70s, there was a Project Storm Fury that uh, people started uh, experimenting with seeding uh, hurricanes way out in the Atlantic. And uh, at that point, there were two things that happened. First of all, they had a small sample size, so they couldn't really determine anything with any kind of statistical significance of whether they were having an impact or not. For those scientists who, so the second thing that happened was for those scientists who claimed they were having an impact, the areas that were subsequently impacted by those storms were ready to sue those scientists. That experiment was ended. Um, so there are, I know this, there's, uh, there's um, weather modification that's done under very controlled circumstances, especially out in the west for water resource purposes. Um, in the east, uh, there was some work that was done in Pennsylvania. And again, if people were claiming that they were successfully dri uh, deriving more rainfall, out of a system for the western part of the state, the eastern, the farmers in the eastern part of the state said that was rainfall that would have fallen over us. Yeah. And then they started having that kind of battle within the state, and that ended. So um, it's a very tricky, controversial area, but in real time, we know of no one that was out there doing any kind of seeding. And my question is, uh, I've looked at uh, what they call HAMP, or the Hurricane Modification Program that Homeland Security has talked about. And I, I know uh, there are actually electric companies like the Pacific, PG&E, Pacific Gas, an electric company in Northern California that conducts cloud seeding experiments. As a meteorologist, if you, if you can see that on the radar, is it possible to maybe let the public know, oh, there's cloud seeding here in the area, just well, be cautious? Let's put it this way. Uh, cloud seeding now is done more by private sector, and they don't tell you when they're doing it because they consider it proprietary. Okay. So um, we just we do not factor in that type of activity into either our analysis or forecasting. We're just not even made aware of when it's happening. Uh, and it's mostly now uh, focused in the western, uh, the western part of the right. US for water resources. Right, right. But no, it, it doesn't it doesn't play a role in our forecast. Program. And then I, I've looked at what they've called geoengineering or climate engineering, literally uh, modifying the weather to prevent climate change. It, do you do you think that's something that is going to be done on a research basis, or if it's done, it, it has to be stringent? I, I, really, I really don't. You know, first of all. Uh, Again, the people doing that research, I'm, I'm not really aware of it, so I'm not even sure I can answer the question. I know that there are people who continue to talk about, uh, you know, every, they'll propose, you know, like the nuclear, you know, let's, like Tom mentioned, let's, let's set off nuclear explosions and we can destroy a hurricane. Right. Yeah, I've heard they talked about wanting to do, like, you know, volcanic or eruptions. Or send missiles into tornadoes. 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 What would you like? A, 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 an exploding tornado? Or right. just make things worse? <laughs> So right, we don't right. really, yeah, we don't really uh, it. it's, but it's the, not enough. Yeah, the modifications I think are more, um, you 
know, I, and this is not my center of expertise, but long-term modifications of environments by planting trees and changing slow modification of ecosystems in a in a responsible manner sometimes uh, may over time or not help or don't, offset or don't cut down the forest and cut down right. or take in carbon dioxide. Right. 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 But you're talking about vast energy scales, so to make significant impacts yeah. on them. Right. Like, because because I know they do they there is conducted cloud seeding experiments taking place. Is it? Do you think that's more private corporations that are doing that for research purposes? I, I think cloud seeding is. I'm not. I'm not that familiar, but I don't know of any government programs dealing in that. Okay. It's, it's pretty much. Uh, that was like Project Cern Fleury like way back. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, there's nothing like that. That's for sure. Okay. Is the director of the National Weather Service? oblivious to the current day weather modification programs taking place or is he covering up a program that the public should not know about in the end i've come to find out that several forms of modification are taking place from the genetic modification of our food supply to the engineering of earth's climate both presented as solutions to fight climate change both may lead us into a situation we can't come back from both could lead us into a genetically modified society. Isn't that, yeah, isn't that amazing? Hey everybody, Dutch Sense here. 3.01 p.m. Central Time on Sunday, October 27th, 2013. And you just saw the clip. That was the director of the National Weather Service and the director of the Storm Prediction Center both using a 1970s example of weather modification gone wrong and then denying knowledge, current knowledge, of weather modification activities. Now the ironic thing is that he says, the director of the National Weather Service says, that it's proprietary information. They're not made aware of what the companies are doing when they're out there spraying. Okay? Well, unfortunately, that's not accurate. Here's the NOAA weather modification form that must be filled out and submitted and approved before weather modification activities take place, must be filled out by state, local, corporate authorities, has to be approved, and the results have to be reported. Okay, here's the form, corporate services, noaa.gov. You guys can click on it yourself. It'll open up a PDF. Here it is. It's for real. There's a form that must be filled out. Now that's just one step of this. We have the director of the National Weather Service also saying that weather modification is not effective. He says that when he's answering the question from the reporter that I sent, that we sent, my viewers sent, Julio, we sent him all across the country to different weather modification conferences, forums, to record these things. And we have that documented in my must-see list here. And I'll put links down below for this so you guys can go check this out yourself. But each one of these conferences here, half hour long, and you can listen to the NOAA and Idaho Power cloud seeding results presented by the themselves. The same people that are saying that they don't know where they're doing it, 
Here's their 2012 results from Idaho. Augmentation of snowpack for Idaho power using silver iodide, spraying silver iodide. Okay? So why deny it? Well, we've got Michio Kaku, and I'll put a link down below to this as well. You guys can click on this here. It'll take you to a video just a few weeks ago. Michio Kaku on ABC News confirming weather modification and giving possible uses such as sporting events, weddings. Really? Well, that's what they say. And they're talking about doing it using frequency, not using spray. They're figuring out there's other ways to generate cloud condensation nuclei, the precursor to rain, without having to spray something like silver iodide. However, we go back over here to the documentary we put out, and according to the director of the National Weather Service, they're oblivious to the fact that this is going on. They don't know. So, you know, guys, I am just really kind of shocked at this point that we have professionals that deny to our faces what's going on, but yet there's forms that must be filled out beforehand and approved by them in order to do it. We have 1970s examples being given when we have current examples. We have companies in operation, Weather Modification Incorporated, West Texas Weather Modification Association. We went to their conference. They presented their results. They're partnered up with NOAA. MIT, how to halt hurricanes. North Dakota, cloud seeding weather modification projects. The laws, all the different companies doing it. Idaho Power, everything I just told you about, here's their results. Okay, the American Society for Civil Engineers, standard practice for the design and operation of hail suppression. This is something that is being done globally, being done nationally, approved by the National Weather Service and NOAA, and yet they're going to stand up there and play dumb. And notice, when, go back and watch the clip again. Notice how many times they look down at Julio's credentials. He's wearing them on his chest right next to his camera. And uh, they immediately went into spin mode as soon as they saw his credentials. It's obvious. And I'll put this whole link down below so you guys can go through here. It might take you a couple weeks if you really want to sit down and go through each one of these, read everything. By the time you're done, you're going to be where I'm at. You're going to be trying to explain to people why this isn't such a good idea. Resonance technology is where they're eventually going with this. Right now, we're still worried about spray. We're still worried about different particulates being used. But they're moving away from that and going to much more powerful systems that are capable of generating large areas of energy in the atmosphere and ionosphere. It's kind of a wild time to be alive, guys. If you don't speak up against it, it's going to keep on happening. And it's going to get worse and worse and worse. It'll become a weapon if it already isn't. Much love, guys. Be safe.